he's trying to get into my mouth again. <laughs> oh, Angel, what are we going to do with you? Sounds oh. the highest bidder. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Sorry, Angel is not going anywhere. A dollar. Start with a dollar. We're selling Kevin. <laughs> she, she says no. All right, so let's get started here. We'd like to welcome Sissy Wise. Welcome to the neighborhood. Jensen KSM, welcome to the neighborhood. If we didn't say that correctly, please let us know. Amberlynn 18, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, Shan says what? Welcome to the neighborhood. What? 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 Who? Shan. Shan said what? When? Now. Who's on first? What? Just read. And we have Lice. 42. Welcome to the neighborhood. Somebody will get it. <laughs> See if anybody gets that one. Okay, shout out to Elizabeth Child, who also answered my question about how the name, where Crock Pot came from. It's a brand name. The backstory is rooted in Jewish mothers and beans. Jewish mothers and beans. Sounds like a Crock Pot dish. Who knows? The device was inspired by the dish the invent inventor's mother told him about. Okay. Chrissy Werner, welcome to the neighborhood and shout out to the newlyweds, Crystal and Dan. Congratulations. Okay, and now we have some thoughts and prayers. Terry Johnson's husband, Bill, is in the hospital being treated for AFib. They are, having to, they are trying to get his heart rate stabilized. He also has some kind of weakness on his left eye and left side of his mouth. It may be Bell's palsy. So if everyone could please keep Bill Johnson, Terry Johnson's husband, in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate it. And Terry, you know you and Bill are always in our thoughts and prayers. And we would also like to make sure we keep all the people in Texas and their families in our thoughts and prayers. They are going through some really rough times right now with all the flooding and the storms and tornado and hurricanes and uh, everything they're going through. Our hearts go out to all of them and their families. Okay, um, and my question from last week was, what is your favorite neighborhood YouTube video? Tanya Longley likes our Christmas video, or liked our Christmas video when Kevin stole my Rudolph hat. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Innocent over here. Sherry Tate likes our Halloween party vlogs and our ghost videos. Um, Bambi likes mice in walls and where's Daryl? Hmm. Daryl's in the corner. Kevin owes me a new one. <laughs> what? He's got marker on his mouth from the last time you played games. you got some makeup on. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Kevin owes me a new one. Big D likes the same video I like. The video he's in. <laughs> Music Lyrics 15 likes the videos where when we first met Iris for when we met Iris for the first time. Yeah, I like that video too. She's such a cutie pie and she's so grown now. I oh miss her goodness. so much. Pete Price loves the Halloween party videos. His li wife likes his wife Sue likes our Christmas party, our Christmas videos. Yeah, those are some of our favorite videos too, especially our Halloween videos when we do all the Halloween stuff that we always do. Yeah, we really enjoy those. What are some of your favorite videos of ours? Uh, jeez, you put me on the spot here. Most of the stuff is the stuff that I like putting together. So uh, it would be the, the ghost videos 
uh, the Halloween parties for sure because they're so much fun. I also like our uh, vines. Vines. I also like our vines a lot too. So I don't know if if you did you ever do a compilation of our vines? No, it'd be like twelve seconds long. But that would be funny. I think people would like that. I think you should do that. Um, the Abyss 92882 uh, likes videos when Mojo and Mama Kitty came home. Yep, we, we enjoyed that one very much. And Terry Johnson likes our Halloween parties and videos with both our families and when Megan is home. So, yeah, I like... I know it was weird, but I liked when I was in North Carolina and Kevin was here and we kind of mushed the videos, or Kevin mushed the videos together. Those were good. Yeah, I thought those turned out pretty good. You got a little bit of both, mm -hmm. both sides of the family and both of our lives going on at all times. Correction from last week's. Um, one proud mama, April. Um, camp out for Haley was on July 29th. The camp out coming up is for Craig. Correction from last week's shout outs. There y'all go. Okay. If we missed anybody, please let us know. Okay. My question for this week. Okay. With all the home improvement videos that you've seen Kevin do throughout the, the, the existence of the neighborhood community video channel. Um, <laughs> okay. What did you like seeing Kevin do the most? Electrocute myself. <laughs> Put holes in my walls. Paint. Oh, that's exciting. Put down on the floor. Really exciting. So there you have it. Now I'm going to turn it over to Kevin because he's got to answer last week's question. He's got a new and exciting question for you. Okay. Well, last week's question uh, has sort of a, a lot of confusion attached to it. And I'm confused now, so I, I will explain. Uh, I asked... You've got a lot of explaining to do, mister. Okay. So it was about the movie Babadook, which was... Uh, uh, really good movie from 2014, very strange, no one actually dies in that movie, which is unusual for a horror film. But, the question was, where does the name Babadook come from? And I asked the question because I found an answer to that. Now, all the answers that I got from everybody um, in return was not that answer. So I ended up looking it up again, and I come to the conclusion that I don't know the answer to the question. The um, Bambi says that it's Polish for the boogeyman. The, I've heard that one actually being Polish myself. Um, Tanya Longley says it's from the word Baba Roga, which is Serbian for the boogeyman. Uh, Terry Johnson also said it was uh, um, uh, Serbian from the Baba Roga uh, for the boogeyman. Now, when I asked, when I wrote the question down, uh, I read that it was Hebrew. From, and it means he is coming. All kind of cool answers. However, uh, the more and more I looked into it, I, um, I'm, I don't know if the Ser Serbian one is right, but the, it seems to be from a quote. People quoted somebody. But I dug a little more, and uh, it seems like it's a possibility, although I might be wrong, that it was just a sort of an anagram. If you, if you uh, move the D and the B, and take the A out of the middle, then it's just bad book. Baba Duke, bad a book. It's just switching the two letters, then it's just bad book, which is very possible as well. So, everybody who played, of course, was uh, Tanya Longley, Bambi uh, S, uh, The Abyss, Nightoid A2, Terry Johnson, and um, That's it. yeah. Congratulations to you all for playing! Yay! Now, tonight's question is, um, we, we just watched both of the House of Haunted Hills, and um, there is an interesting uh, thing about that movie, because um, in 1959 version, uh, the millionaire character is played by Vincent Price, and his character's name is Frederick Lauren. Now, in the 1990 version, 1999 version, 
uh, Jeffrey Rush played the millionaire character, and they changed his name to Stephen Price, which is sort of a um, is a uh, an homage to Vincent Price. Now it turned out that he kind of looked like Vincent Price in the movie, but he wasn't trying to look like Vincent Price. There was somebody else that he was trying to look like. Who was that? That's a question. There you have it, guys, our question of the week. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all very, very much. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please give us a favorite, share our video with your family and friends, leave us a comment, and please subscribe. Check out next week's shout outs as well as all our videos throughout the week. And we will see you next time on another episode of Neighborhood Community.